Alrighty. I am going to attempt, haha, <laughs> we've done this a couple of times, a Lipton Pyramid Teabag Mod. Um, an alternative way to fill your carts uh, instead of the polyfill. So what you need is Lipton, they have to be pyramid tea bags. It's all about the material that it's made out of. This is a pyramid tea bag, and it's called a pyramid tea bag because it looks like a pyramid. So, first thing you do is take the string off. Here's all your characters. I think maybe you need the black one. Alright, uh, take the junk out that you got in there now. And I have to tell you, it ends up looking nasty after a while. Gross and hard to handle. Ugh. Okay. So, this thing you do, you see that uh, there's a um, a seam at the top. So you can take the scissors and cut that. So this tea smells really good. I'm kind of sorry I'm throwing it out, but I'm going to. Then, I'm going to cut, cut the seam. Cut that off. I'm just basically going to cut it open. We're cut, cutting all the seams that are... There we go. Alright. So you end up with yes, it's a it's a like a really fine I don't know meshy material and it's washable. It's almost plastic. So let's see if I can get this. Okay. So now we take uh, what this is is uh, not a toothpick. Cause toothpicks are a little bit thin. It's a kebab skewer. Got it at the dollar store. You know, me and the dollar store, we're like this. <laughs> uh, anyway, you can take this, and it's it's a little stiff, right? So you're going to take it and use the skewer to start the roll so you can get it nice and even. So, basically, I'm just going to roll it on the skewer. Can you see this with the lighting? Yeah, now, now it's tight. But you don't want it that tight. What is with the light? Okay. So you don't really lot want it that tight. So you're just gonna um, take the skewer out, and I don't know how, how to say this, but you, you'll notice as you like let it go a little, it'll unravel. Like so, carefully let it go until it's like this flat. So it looks like it's going to fit like that. Make sense? Okay. Maybe that's a little too loose, but so once you have it like that, you're going to fold it in half. If you can fold it in half, okay. So now you get it like that. It should be. Um, you should have to push it. It it should be nice and tight, like this. All right. So there's some resistance. You don't want it falling out when it touches the, or when you're pulling it up on, on and off your atomizer. So now what you want to do is cut it flush. Just flush. You don't want it recessed because we're going to do something else. So now we have it flushed. Now, this is a little trick Grim Green showed me, and I, I don't know why, but I'm sure there's some kind of science behind it, but, but I don't know why it's better, but it is. So you can take it back out and you're going to cut, you're going to fray the ends. So however you have to hold this, me, I have man hands, so it's a little more, less careful. You're going to cut lengthwise, like that. Two cuts. So you're going to like fray the ends. Not all the way down, just, uh, I wish I had more precision scissors. How can you do it without cutting your fingers off? Try it. 
Alright. So, now I have two. Can you even see this? So now it's like frayed on the end. You just sort of, I don't know what to call it, but anyway. Shove her back in. And you can see it now that I can let go of it. See? It's just frayed. Shove her back in. Fill her up. And uh, I have to say, the vape on it is really nice. Um, you put about 12 drops in there. Um, dozen drops, something like that. And it's like, I don't know, it's it's like an even, more even, and you flood the atomizer less. Because if you don't put enough stuffing of the polyfill in, if it's too loose, it, uh, it, uh, you end up sucking it through the hole in the other end now, and nobody likes that, and you've all done it. Nice mouthful of nicotine juice. Um, I'm just going to pop this on. Give it a vape. nice. Cool. With practice, it gets a little easier. Like I said, I've done like four or five, maybe, okay, three. <laughs> done three. Um, but, uh, what, you'll get the hang of it. It's the material. It's, it's not, it's not going to degrade. It's like a, I don't know, like a nylon almost, or I don't even know. I suppose if I read the bag, or read the thing, it might tell me what it is. But, however, um, that's what you're looking for in the store, Lipton Pyramid Tea Bags. You might try the tea, too. <laughs>